parents can tell you children's ear infections account for lots of trips to the pediatrician. But some research shows that antibiotics may have no more effect than a placebo, and ear tubes require general anesthesia and can fall out. So some parents, though skeptical at first, are turning to chiropractors to clear up chronic ear problems. Does it work? Mary Rob Jackson has the story. 19-month-old Jenna and 4-year-old Jacelyn Weber have given their mom and dads many sleepless nights with their constant ear infections. My oldest daughter, okay, she had tubes in her ears at 6 months. I mean, it was constant. It seemed like, I mean, every day almost, for a while there, she had ear infections. Okay. Let's check you, see how you're doing today. But two months ago, the girls tried something different. Dr. Richard Rafferty, a okay. chiropractor, began giving them adjustments for their ear problems. There is an alternative that you can uh, take a more natural approach that gets right to the cause. It almost seems too good to be true. Using an instrument called an activator, Dr. Rafferty delivers a direct light tap at just the right spot. Okay. Good girl. Okay. Though parents are skeptical at first, Jason Weber can't argue with the results. We haven't had an antibiotic on either of them for like like two months now, and that's very, very unusual. As chiropractors okay. believe they can prevent recurrent ear infections by correcting misalignments and allowing normal fluid drainage from the middle ear. That fluid is where bacteria grows. Generally, it takes between 12 and about 18 adjustments in a period of about a month, maybe uh, two months at the most. It's, and the problem is corrected. About 50 to 100 children who get chronic ear infections are seen here each week. Every parent that I've sent to Dr. Raffrey with their child has come back thrilled. Dr. Bernie Simons, a pediatrician, says he's referred many of his patients, including his own daughter. So why don't more MDs send patients for chiropractic care? I think a lot of medical uh, doctors are not exposed to it, so they don't know whether or not it works. Hey, remember how the instrument sounds? A little click? Mary Rob Jackson, KDKA-TV News.